Hi, again, this is for TikTok. Can you guys say hi? Did you see them? <laughs> so now we're going. The hotel, so we're packing the car. Yes, now, Blaga. <laughs> Those are the security people in the where they're putting the suitcases at. And I didn't get a chance to show you guys the outside of the hotel, which it looks so nice. And then, yeah. And then I showed you guys the pool too, so you guys saw that, so. We're about to go to the airport and we're going to Abuja. So, and that's the capital of Lagos. I mean, of Nigeria, so yeah. I will see you guys in a few. Hey guys, so yeah, like I said, I stated, we are leaving in Embra. I absolutely love the number like my time here was so nice like i would love to go back i don't think i have any more friends that are from that part of nigeria but um it was such a great time like their traditional wedding was amazing the people were so nice the club was lit the hotel was cool like guys if you've never been to nigeria or you need to go home go home because it's just a great experience it's a great feeling to be home it's something that i really can't even put into words but i just love going home right and just being with like the originator of everything because as you guys know everything comes from africa so um this is just the scenery guys just take this all in i'm gonna stop talking right now so you guys can kind of just take it all in Okay, guys, so here you can do a lot of advertisement if you have like a small business or a big business in the Nambra state. There's a lot of advertisement places that you can um, kind of place your business here. But this is, you know, this is just the basic airport. It was pretty basic, it wasn't a lot going on. Um, and there was no food for us to eat now. So thank God we ate later. So then once we got through the checkpoint, this is the waiting area for us to go to Abuja. That's my other friend Joachi. I didn't get her I didn't get a lot of her in the in this clip, but here we're walking to the plane. Um and then we landed. They gave us snacks on the plane. I forgot to get a video of that, but we landed here. So this is Abuja. Their airport compared to Lagos is way more chiller. Like I like so my family is originally from Lagos State. Uh, my father rather let me say my let me be specific like my father his people um so this is my first time coming to abuja because i've never been right because i didn't really have a purpose to go but here like abuja is so much more calmer like it's not as chaotic when you land in lagos um because if you've landed in lagos before you know what i'm talking about it can get very crazy very fast so it, in my opinion it was more calmer more chill uh, more cleaner just I love Abuja. Like, I plan on buying a house home soon. So I would love to buy a house here. But I also want to buy a house where, where my dad is actually from. So when you come out, this is how the Abuja airport looks. Um, kind of peaceful. It doesn't get chaotic until once you kind of come out of the airport where taxis, you know, that's where people are trying to make money off you and things like that, whatever. So that's why it's always good to have your family or um your driver or your hotel concierge whoever's coming to pick you up to be like visible right there um so yeah that was kind of much it here um, and i'll let the video play a little bit and come back later okay guys so once we got out the airport um this is us actually leaving the airport so i don't know if you guys were able to watch my previous vlog um when i came to lagos but it's way more calmer like i just felt way more calmer here i don't know why but if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about so i'm just gonna stop right here and um, come back a little later guys if you haven't already please pause and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to your girl so i can continue to make more videos like this because i will be traveling a lot more this year so if you guys want to stay tuned to see the places that i'm traveling please follow me on all social media and platforms please share this with your family and friends um and comment below what the other content you guys want to see from me so here um we are you know driving in to where we're still staying so it's going to be a long drive so i'm just going to like pause and stop here but 
I think you guys can also see in this take of the um, police station, I think. And they also had a jail here, which I, I was like kind of in shock to see. There was a jail that we passed by. I think this is the jail right here. Um, and then also like the university, Abuja's university was really, really close to it. So um, yeah, I'm just going to stop here and let you guys kind of take it in. Okay guys, so we got to our destination and I had some food. Then my friend had to get her hair done. So this is kind of like the hair salon, which I thought was kind of cool because it reminded me of the 90s. Um, and then this is a view of like the hair salon. Um, and I just kind of enjoyed like, you know, just the whole vibe and experience of it all. Um, yeah, this literally reminded me like growing up in the late 90s, um, early 2000s a little bit. Um, Cause my mother is from like America. She's from the Lower East Side in Harlem. Um, so just spending time there. So that was kind of cool to see that. And then, um, you know, this is some scenery and stuff like that. I don't want to talk as much as I just want you guys to, like I said, take in everything um, and whatnot. And then now I believe we are headed to Mina because we're heading to my friend's village just to see his like village people and stuff. So it is a, it was a very long, long journey from Abuja to Mina. I think it was like two hours. Um, I literally fell asleep. But I, I did get pictures of this rock here. And this is what I want to show you guys. When you Google Nigeria um, on Google, it a picture of a rock comes up. And I for, really forgot the name of the rock. Uh, let me think. What was it? What was the name of it? I can't remember the name of the rock, but somebody let me know in the comments what the name of the rock is. But it looks like it's a facade, but it's actually real. Um, so, you know, we're still driving, 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 and I'll just be quiet. Oh, you guys can see the rock again. Um, like, it looks like it's so fake, but it's actually so real. Like, I was, like, in shock. I could not believe that that was actually real because I thought I was hallucinating at one point. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the rock. Okay, guys, so after two hours, we finally made it to Mina. Um, I just love this artwork here, so that's why I was kind of like focusing on it, whatever. Um, so this is kind of like the vibe where we were going to like stay at and stuff. Um, yeah, just take it all in. Guys, so I'm in Mina now. I do apologize because the video is just kind of like choppy, but um, my camera died and then, you know, recording with my iPhone, whatever. Um, but guys, we've been to so many places in Nigeria for this trip. I'm so exhausted. My body. Didn't even know my body. The thing. I'm like, my throat is hurting. Ah, just on your auntie. My throat is hurting me, but my friend's house. Hey, it's beautiful. Some of that house is, is beautiful. And Oh, it's so beautiful. I wish I could give you guys a tour, but that's disrespectful. I'm not going to give you a tour of somebody's house, but just know that the house is beautiful. Like the houses that you see <clears throat> in the movies do not compare to the houses that I saw today. And just going from um, Abuja to the village to now another village that my um, friend's husband owns, like, it's like amazing. Um, so yeah. I, we are leaving Mina tomorrow and we're going to go back to Abuja because the hour is like a two hour and a half drive. Um, and then from there, we're going to get ready for the wedding and um, just do some maintenance and just getting ready because we're about to come home soon. So, yeah, I will update you guys in the morning. Bye. Hey guys, so this is the next day. So, we had some food before we left and said prayer. And then this is the rock that I was telling you guys about. Like, it looks unbelievable what God, like, God's creation can do. Like, you know this is my man. This is a God. So, 
Just I thought that was just so cool to actually see with my own eyes. And then here I'm actually now getting ready for the wedding. This was my stylist, guys. She's like one of the top stylists there in Abuja. And then this is how my makeup and hair came out. Okay, why don't I to tell you guys I slayed. Like y'all can tell me anything. So now I'm about to change it to my dress, and this is my dress. And my dress is actually from Lagos, um, from my tailor there on the mainland. And I think she also ate that too. Like, so this is me getting in the cab and heading to the wedding. Of course, we're always late, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. No, I still arrived though. So as you can see, um, we made it to the wedding. So it's kind of like the after party. It was so funny because the DJ was actually asking for like the older people to leave so that they could actually like play like turn up music, whatever. Um, so I thought that was like so funny. Um, and I don't know if I was able to get a clear shot of the bride and the groom. Let me see. I don't think so. But you know, just take it all in guys. And this is me dancing. I was having fun, catching vibes. Like, first of all, let's just give attention to the dress, okay? And the body shape. And then after that we left and we went to this restaurant i think its name is called the name of the restaurant is called gusto's i went there with my friend and her husband and then we also met his cousin um there and they were just talking business and stuff like that if you are ever in abuja make sure you guys go check out gusto's because the food and the ambiance and the vibe is like amazing like you would really think that you're in the states you would think that you're like in new york or something um so this was the vibe and on top of that what I'm noticing in Abuja, it's like not only Africans there, but it's like white people, it's like European people, a whole bunch of culture. So this is the next day. So we're heading back to Lagos. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.